Hello, Alina. So, next week is your wedding, right? Why didn't you tell me earlier so I could have time to prepare a perfect wedding present for you? I can't believe my little girl will have her own family. Dad, how can you know about my wedding? I didn't send any invitation to you or everybody in the town. Oh, I follow your social media accounts and I saw you just posted the wedding card and pictures of you and my future son-in-law. He's a good looking guy, by the way. Followed me? I thought I had blocked you already. Oh, I know that you just mistook me for someone else. So you just mistakenly blocked me. Don't worry. I don't have any hard feelings. I just created another account and followed you in silence. Fine. Just don't tell anybody about my new life. Um, of course. So tell me, where did you meet him? Him? Who are you talking about? The man who's going to become your husband, of course, Sonny. Oh, Dad, come on. Don't call me by that nickname anymore. I hate it. Oh, why? You used to love that name. And whenever I called you Sonny, you always gave me a sweet smile. <sighs> I really miss those old days. Dad, stop it. You know that I hate whenever you talk about the past. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. So tell me about him. Why do you want to know about him? Why does it matter to you? Yes, it's very much related to me. He is the one who will love you and take care of you from now on, instead of me. I need to know if he is someone I can trust to give away my beautiful daughter to. You don't have to care anymore. I've been living a good life since I left that town. Alina, ever since you left this town to go to the city to find a new life, I cannot stop worrying about you. I've been very sad because I couldn't be with you for the most important events of your life. But now my daughter is getting married and I don't know anything about my future son-in-law. I feel like a failure as a father. Is this how you feel? Dad, I don't want to let you know too much about my life. Alina, please. I just want to know if you're happy or not. Just answer me that and I won't bother you anymore. Then fine. This will be the last time. Richard and I met when I worked as a receptionist at the biggest hotel in the city. One evening, when I was on duty at the counter, a drunk customer came and gave me a hard time. He kept touching me, but I couldn't resist because the customers here were all powerful and wealthy. What? Why didn't you tell me about this? If I was there, I would... For what? Huh? What could you do if I told you about it right away? Could you teleport and hit the customer with your wheelchair or what? No, that's not what I mean. I just wish you could share with me when you get into difficult situations. I will always protect you, my dear. I'm sure, Dad. Do you want me to keep talking about it or not? Yeah, just, just keep going. When I was at a loss for what to do, Richard appeared and helped me get rid of the angry guest. He was dressed like a waiter then, so I thought he was a colleague at the hotel. After that meeting, we got to know each other and fell in love. But when he brought me home to meet his parents, I was shocked that he was the hotel owner's son. Um, do you think he's telling the truth? I mean, isn't the fact that he pretended to be a waiter to approach you rather suspicious? I used to think about that too. But he said he wanted to work all the jobs in the hotel before officially running it. And Richard says he loves me because I still loved him even when I thought he had no money. What is his family's attitude towards you? Do they cause problems for you? Usually rich families like that often want to have a daughter-in-law to match their status. I'm so sorry that I can't give you a rich family. Well, I've learned not to expect much from you. You can't even buy me a house or be a normal dad like everybody else. No, don't worry about it. They treat me very well. I'm very glad to hear that. So now, 
This is the million dollar question. Do you feel safe with him? And can you be sure he's always protecting you, as I always have? Yes, I'm pretty sure. He protects me better than you can. At least when I needed him, he could run to me right away. Haha, <laughs> that sounds like you really love him. I can't wait to meet the guy who made my little girl fall in love. Huh? Meet Richard? You want to meet Richard? When? Obviously at your wedding, Alina. What a weird question that is. What? Are you going to my wedding? Yes, Alina. Of course, I wouldn't miss it. How can I be absent from your wedding? I've waited my whole life to hold your hand and lead you down the aisle. No, you are not allowed to come to my wedding. You'll ruin it. What? Alina, I would never do that to you. I love you, honey, and I just want to see you happy. No, Dad, you can't show up at my wedding for any reason. If you really love me, just forget everything about me. Don't ever text me again. But why? I don't get it. The thing I want most in the world is just to watch you walk down the aisle in your beautiful wedding dress. No, you don't have to understand. Just don't. Alina, my dear. If you come to my wedding and mess everything up, I will never forgive you. I... I, I, I got it. Ugh! You ruined my day! I'm so sorry, Alina. What are you doing? Why are you here? I told you many times that you can't come to my wedding. Oh my god, why can't you ever do anything for me? You saw me? I... I didn't... I didn't mean to. I plan to come to see you and give you a wedding present, and then I'll leave without anyone knowing. No, you're lying. So why is he sitting in the guest room now? Is it still the front row? I was looking out of the wedding arena from the waiting room and saw you there. You must have come here on purpose to humiliate me. No, no, Elena, I will never do anything to harm you. It was just an accident. Just now, I wanted to hide from afar, just to see you. But when I wanted to go near to place the wedding gift, I had trouble with the wheelchair. So I bumped into a man. Huh? You bumped into a man? Did you hurt him? No, not, not at all, but he asked who I was. I swear I didn't tell him that I am your dad. I just said that I am your great uncle. Then he pushed me to the front row like this. Oh, what? Oh my god. What the hell have you done? Why are you ruining my life? You just won't stop until you're satisfied. I only did as you asked. I didn't say hi to any guests or tell them that I am your dad. Is there anything wrong? Anything wrong? Your appearance today is the biggest mistake you can make. I told Richard and his family that I was an orphan. What? An orphan? Isn't it too soon to be burying me? Why are you so ashamed of me? No, no, Dad. It's not because of you. It's about my past. Do you really think that a girl from a trailer park who was abandoned by her mother at birth and then raised by... A disabled man? A disabled father can be here? No, no, my dear. Please calm down. It doesn't matter who you are. What matters now is who you have become, despite all of the hardships. I understand you're very confused and scared right now, but everything will be fine. No, Dad, you don't understand anything. To be accepted in this world, you have to be rich. Therefore, I won't let you make me miss this opportunity. I love Richard, but his family's money and power can give me a place in society. So, Dad, please, just leave and tell the men you came to the wrong wedding. Oh, no. I can't let you lie anymore. 
Lying will not make you happier, dear daughter. No, the truth won't either, Dad. You know that what I had gone through in the past made me leave that town. In that town, everyone knew who I was. Everyone was bullying me, always. Everything has passed, honey. Look at you now. You have become a kind, brave, and persistent girl. I'm sure if you told the truth, Richard will still love you. But they still gave me a long-lasting scar in my heart. The people there always give me looks. They didn't even want to sell goods to us. Every time children passed by, they would throw stones at me and say I was a monster. And then I ran away. Made my own life by myself. Everything was okay until you came along. What would I do if Richard and his family knew the truth about me and also treated me like those neighbors? I don't want to be a nobody again. Don't worry, Alina. I will always protect you. Forever. Dad, listen to me. If you stay here, you'll ruin everything. I know it. But can I have a little time to admire my daughter? I promise I won't ruin anything. No, please. Just leave here. Alina, just, just one minute. I will leave right after seeing you. No! Go away! Right now! Yes, I am leaving. Um, hey Alina, I placed your wedding gift on the decorated table. It's the one with pink wrapping paper, your favorite color. Remember to open it, that it is my treasure. I hope you will love it like me. Dad? Did you leave the wedding? Why do you keep annoying me like this? The wedding is about to start. Don't worry. I just got in the taxi. I'm on my way out. It's just, I want to make sure that you got it. Oh, great. Phew. But why don't you bring that gift with you? You said that it's your treasure, right? I don't need money from you anymore. Oh, no, no, honey. It's not money. It's worth far more than that, Alina. What? If it's so valuable, why did you leave it out there? What if someone stole it? I will ask the bridemaids to go out to help. Oh, don't, don't think about it. Sorry. I got it here with me. Wait, Dad, what is this? Did you use Photoshop to make this picture? No, honey. It's, it's a real picture. We took it when you were two years old, around half a year before I became disabled and got stuck in this wheelchair. <laughs> Even though 25 years has passed, I still can't master it. Silly me. Look at you in that picture. Your smile is so sweet, Sonny. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't call you that. But I thought you were in a car accident before I was born. I, I, I don't know if I should tell you the truth. Dad, you told me lying would not make me happier, so why do you want to hide the truth? But, but mine's just a white lie. Fine. But I need you to promise me that you won't make yourself ashamed, sad, guilty, no matter what I say. Huh? Dad, what are you talking about? Do you promise? Yes, I do. Just tell me. It was a Sunday, and I drove you to the park. I was looking for a parking spot, and you saw another kid passing by with a pink balloon. You said that you wanted a balloon like that. But I didn't notice when you opened the door and ran after the kid. When I rushed to find you, I found you standing in the middle of a road, and a truck was about to hit you. I didn't have much time to think, so I ran and pushed you away. Luckily, you were not hurt, but I was hit. And my legs, I wasn't able to walk again. Oh my God. Why, why did you keep it from me all this time? Dad, what have I done? <laughs> I, I have always blamed you like a fool all this time. I have always thought that all the suffering I endured would, 
was because of you. I even wish you had disappeared. Oh no. I can't forgive myself, Dad. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. You didn't do anything wrong. All children just want to have fun. The important thing for me is that now you have grown into a beautiful, successful, and you are ready to build a family. It is a pity I can't see you in your wedding dress, though. Dad, tell the driver to bring you back to my wedding. What? I, aren't you scared Richard's family will know the truth? I don't care if they can't accept me. I just need you by my side right now. Please, Dad, forgive this stupid child. I want to proudly introduce you to the world. The best dad ever. Alina, don't do this. I've already embarrassed you enough. Are you sure? Positively, Dad. You've always protected me. It's time for me to make it right. Please forgive me and come back here. I want you to take my hand and lead me to the aisle if I still have a chance. Oh, Sonny, I was never angry with you. He's driving back. Oh, great. I will wait for you at the gateway. Yeah, I'll I'll be there in a minute. Um, Dad? I don't know if it's too late to say this, but I love you. I love you too, my dear. When I got back to the wedding, Alina was waiting there for me. She looked beautiful in her white wedding dress. She pushed me in the wheelchair during the wedding and bravely told everyone the truth about us. At first, we were very afraid that the wedding would be cancelled, but everything turned out very well in the end. It turns out that the man who pushed me to the front row was Richard's father. He said that he recognized me as soon as he saw me because he had been gathering information about Alina for a long time. Understandably, what father would allow his son to marry a girl from nowhere? He said he pushed me to the front row to see what Alina would do if she could understand what it meant to truly respect her family. She would be the girl who fit with their family. I'm so happy because after many, many years, the conflict between Alina and I has been cleared up. Richard bought me a little house near his and Alina's so we can see each other often. Alina is pregnant now and I'm about to have a grandchild soon. I'm so happy to see my daughter living the life she's always deserved and dreamed of.